So, your favorite computer game just launched, for which you have been waiting for the past 2-3 months. It's time to play that bad boy. Oh, and check the system requirements. Those are too much for your crap that you have in the name of a computer. But you're too good of a gamer to stop just there. You install the game onto your computer, but when you run that game, that game instead of playing feels like you're watching a bunch of photos in slideshow mode. At least every gamer has been through that spot, but no, no, not me at all. I tweaked my computer to give its level best to the game. And thanks to this cloth right here, magic, I can take you right onto my computer screen and show you how I did just that. So let's go. Okay, so before I started the video, I want you guys to know that if you complete all the steps that I showed in the video that I'm going to perform just in a minute right now, you're going to see a pretty decent boost in gaming performance. Right now you're seeing the footage of the game, notice how great of an improvement that we have. On the left we have the raw game that I just installed onto my computer and I legit just started playing it. Whereas on the right, you'll see the game that we are playing after the tweakings and settings that we've done to its files. And no, your computer is not gonna turn into a gaming beast or anything, but it will handle games pretty decently. And all the performance upgrades are highly dependent on your specs, so if you have a great CPU and loads of RAM, you'll see a visible boost. But if you have a totally potato PC, uh, don't expect more than 4 to 5 FPS boost. Now back to the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is optimize our machine to work the best and give it its best performance. So first of all, what you have to do is go into your graphics control panel. Since I'm using Intel HD graphics, I go into my HD graphics control panel, leave all these as they are, go into 3D settings, and as you can see in general, general settings, it is set to balanced mode. What you have to do is select performance, leave both of these as they are, and over here in CMAA, you have to click on enhance application settings, click on that, hit apply, yes, and you're good to go. The next thing that you're going to do is edit your power plan. So in your search bar, uh, you have to search power plan, and in the settings go to edit power plan. Over here in your power settings, as you can see by default, balance mode, which is recommended, it is selected. Over here in show advanced plans, you have to click on that and over here high performance, you have to click on that as well. So it, it enables high performance and as you can see high performance is active right now. So this is what you have to do for now. So for the next thing, you'll need to increase your dedicated video memory or VRAM. So I'm not going to show the whole process in this video because this is going to be a real long video. So I'm going to link uh, a video in the description which is my video actually. The video that I made on how to increase your dedicated video memory or VRAM uh, which increases FPS and performance in game. As you can see I'm going to link this video down in the description. Go and follow that video. Do exactly as I say in the video. Follow each and every step and you'll increase your dedicated video memory. Okay so now configuring your computers out the way, now it's time to configure the game files to run the best on your system. So to do that what I do is go into your file explorer and then go into your documents folder, open that and over here you have to search for your game's save file. For example right now I'm trying to configure Just Cause 3 so I have to search for Just Cause 3's save files so i know that there's uh, those save files are in square enix folder and then you go into just cause 3 and saves over here you have to search for the settings file now it can be any format for just cause 3 it is an adobe after effect json file but it can be any format you just have to search for this settings file the next thing that you have to do is to create a new text document so you can do that by right clicking new text document and open that text document. After that what you have to do is drag your settings folder onto your new text document just like that. What you're gonna see here don't be confused this is super easy you just have to remember your binaries a little bit. Okay so over here this is what you'll see it's gonna be different depending on your game but let me give you an example of configuring this and then you'll have an idea on how to configure your own file. So over here, display full screen. It means that if the game launches, will it launch in full screen or not? 
since it is one. As we know in binary, one means on and zero means off. Full screen is on, the game is running full screen. So you have to change that to zero in order to disable full screen. Display full screen width and height, it means the resolution that the game will run in full screen. And display window width and height is the resolution that the game will run in windowed mode. So what I suggest is to turn both of them to 800 by 600 and the windowed uh, width and height to 800 by 600. Refresh rate, leave it as it is. Uh, over here it's zero, maybe in some files it may be 60 or 75. Just leave the refresh rate. Make sure that VSync is enabled. Make sure it is one, it may be zero in some games. Leave display gamma as it is. Motion blur, I turned it off to zero because I don't like motion blur in my games. And if you want motion blur, you can turn this out to one. And I also leave it to have where as it is. And load factor, turn that off to zero. Shadow quality, shadows don't really matter in game. So we're gonna turn that to zero. Post effects, one. Texture quality, uh, texture quality three. So over here, you might be thinking, if zero means off and one means on, what do two and three mean? In such a situation, So texture quality high because we want the game to look good. Water detail would turn that to zero, which means low. Sh uh, shadows resolution zero. ASI will leave that to one. Edge fade, disable edge fade. Graphic ZI, disable that to zero. And graphics anti-aliasing, you have to change that to two. Graphics reflection, zero. Brocades off, zero. Water translation, zero and AIO quality. You have to turn that to two or one, it depends, both of them work. And after that you have to hit close and when this prompt open you have to click save. Now all the configuration that you've done to this file has been saved onto this settings folder. Now it's time to launch the game and let me show you how the game runs after we've done all this configuration. Okay, so as you can see guys, the game is running pretty fine. As you saw that we were getting around 70 FPS on our loading screen slash our pause or menu screen. But whereas when we play the game, the game looks good as well as feels good. Since the texture of our game will high or ultra, that is why we are saying that the game appears to be so good and the game is running pretty smoothly as compared to when it was running uh, when we installed the game and right onto our computer and just started playing it right now we're getting about 20 to 25 fps these are the avi average fps that i'm getting on my game just cause 3 that i just tweaked and configured according to my computer and you see the results are pretty satisfying so as a control i'm gonna tell you guys how to perform the same procedure i'm gonna do it onto another game that i have on my computer assassin's creed unity and i'm gonna show show the whole process of configuring the files again just so you guys know that what do you do in some cases there are two or more configure files so i'm also gonna tell you that so let's hop right into it okay so as you guys can see I just told you guys that I was going to configure Assassin's Creed Unity just to tell you guys a, another quick overview of how to configure your files. So I want to configure Assassin's Creed Unity because this is the game that I have on my computer installed right now. I go to save files which are located in the documents folder. So you double click on Assassin's Creed Unity's folder and then as I told you guys in some cases there are two or more settings or configure files. So in this case you have to check which file is the game setting file and which file is the graphic FX or other setting file. So in this case I know that ACU is the configure setting file. So what you have to do is drag it over to the new text document that you just created and after that full screen. As you can see, as I told you earlier, no need to be confused. This is super easy. Just leave this adapter winter ID and device ID as they are. You don't need to change that. Monitor description. This only applies to you if you have dual monitors or other setup. Display width or height. This is your resolution that the game is gonna play at. Refresh rate. As I told you, leave it as it is. Don't mess with your refresh rate until you know what you're actually doing. 
Windowed mode is actually two. In this case, uh, zero means full screen, which is by default. The game, every game runs in full screen and then there is a borderless window display which is one and then two is windowed game vsync one which means vsync is enabled it's on stretching off which is your environment quality here because you know environment quality texture quality all these qualities cannot be turned on or off they can only be upgraded or downgraded that is low medium high or ultra so in this case zero means as you guys know zero means low so all these qualities are low you have to check if your quality is high you have to turn it to low because you know that your computer is not going to handle handle those so the key here is to minimize your resolution as much as you can and disable full screen mode and then lower all your settings except for anti-aliasing you have to turn that up to medium or high and the texture quality you have to turn that up to medium or high it depends upon your specs as i told you earlier it depends upon your cpu and your ram if you have loads of ram and a great cpu uh, the game's gonna run just fine and after that as you can see here these are your startup uh, input options and stuff like that leave them as they are these are your keybinds as you can see selection input keyboard uh, mouse 2 which means it is your mouse button your primary mouse button and all these leave them as they are you don't need to mess with them and then close this file and hit save it will save the configuration that you've done and as for this other file let me show you what this is this other file is actually your these are your graphic fx so over here as you can see this is the game's display name and its location configuration path etc over here in the game setting you see resolution these are all the resolution that are displayed to you in game you can also make your custom resolution by changing the width and height and also the refresh rate and only change the refresh rate if you absolutely know what you're doing and all these things these are the options that are displayed to you in game for example vsync registered turbo if you have any experience in programming you'll know what these are uh, it's best to leave them alone and only to tinker with them if you absolutely know what you're doing so here you guys are looking at the gameplay of assassin's creed unity at first this game was so unstable that every time i'd move my character around it would just crash on my face and now the results are in front of you the average fps are 15 to 20 and the game is pretty much stable as compared to before so that wraps up today's video i hope you guys liked it and learned a lot from it be sure to like subscribe and share and you know the drill and i'll be back with another awesome amazing video